We are at Heinz East Fork Farm, located in Eastern Metcalf County. We had a really successful Maple Day, and I believe our count yesterday were 36 visitors. We've got a total of 219 acres. 38 acres is open pasture. The rest of the property is all in woodland, and we're managing our woods. Seven years ago, we thought, let's try to make some maple syrup. So we tapped eight or nine trees down in front of the house, used buckets, cooked the sap down in a pan over a concrete block, you know, used concrete blocks to hold the pan up. We did that for two years. And I think the first year we got a quart and a half of syrup maybe and had it in the fridge, we loved it. And then we built a larger pan and one of my sons built that for me, welded stainless steel pan. But we also had to cook outdoors with it on, on the concrete blocks, you know, elevated it up, stick the wood under it. And I had a little makeshift chimney on it. And we did that for two or three years. And I thought, I think we can get a little bit bigger with this because we were really collecting the sap and I had more sap than I could boil down. Right now we've got 219 taps. Some of my trees I've got two taps in. I got black maple tapped. Uh, red maple and sugar maple. And while a lot of uh, tree farmers might select against uh, sugar maples and red maples, we're, we're saving a few of them because obviously uh, it's a product that we're utilizing now. So uh, we've gone through and uh, picked out our best trees and those are the ones that we're tapping. And of course, we're also managing for white oak uh, where we can on some of the west and southwest facing slopes. This building was actually part of an old well house and we built the shed around it and we used the well house for a cooler during warm weather. The idea was we have a place to stick our sap and keep it refrigerated. So we did that last year. Uh, we, we had a warm spell, had a lot of sap come on and didn't have time to boil it or whatever. So uh, I freeze some of my sap in the freezer in five gallon buckets. And then we store it in 50 gallon barrels in the cooler and I just drop a five gallon uh, chunk of ice in it and it keeps it cool until I'm ready to use it. Probably about 600 gallons of sap so far. Right now, everything I've got is on gravity flow. I've got main lines and then the small 3 16 feeder lines that go into those. Using the evaporator has been a learning experience for me, and uh, I had never seen one operated. We just we just dumped the sap in it and started running it. It worked out pretty good, and we made some pretty good batches out of it. But we scalded a batch or two, you know, and uh, which everybody tells me that's that's normal. But uh, we've learned quite a bit on our on our own, and one day I hope to share some of that information with people. <laughs>